What's good, everybody? My name is Brandon. I'm your school board director for the Southeast representing District 7, and I wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the board and specifically with Washington Middle School. Last week, the school board voted to move forward a joint operating agreement with the Technology Access Foundation, better known as TAF for Washington Middle School. And I wanted to just give a little bit of background about what's going on and what you can expect for your kids if you're in that attendance area. So over the past few months, we've been in many conversations, not only with community, but also with TAF and other partners to think about what this partnership is going to look like. TAF uh, is an amazing organization that has been working throughout this region, specifically in Federal Way and other elementary schools and middle schools throughout South King County, um, specifically preparing students of color, namely black students, to have access to better learning environments. And when I say learning environments, I mean spaces to where they have access to project-based learning, uh, learning through technology and other resources to better improve their experiences at school. Um, TAF is a partnership that I am really excited about as a school board director and as an educator, especially in federal way. I've had the opportunity to see TAF at TAF at Sahali. I've had an opportunity to work with their educators. I've had an opportunity to see the services that they provide. And I am incredibly excited to welcome them into the Seattle Public School District, especially at Washington. So as you can imagine, there are varying opinions on this decision, but let me tell you why this is good, especially for our community. TAF is the picture of black excellence. They do an amazing job of working directly with our students and project-based learning in so many ways is the way of the future. It's the way that Seattle Public Schools needs to be heading in the direction of making sure that we are preparing our kids to take advantage of the economy that has largely left marginalized communities, namely the black community, out for so long. And I think that this is going to be a partnership that is going to make a better educational environment for all students, not just black students, not just students who might be identified as highly capable, not just students who might be furthest away from educational justice, but truly all students. There are a couple of reasons that I personally, along with other school board directors, made the decision to partner with TAF. First, Washington Middle School, along with many other schools, especially that have been identified as highly capable pathways, are largely segregated. And I think, frankly, that it's ridiculous that in 2020, we are still having a conversation about desegregating schools. Moving forward, Washington Middle School will no longer have a self-contained, highly capable cohort. Research tells us that kids learn better together, and TAF is an organization that believes strongly in that truth. My decision making around this largely leans on two things. First, seven generations principles, which means every decision we make, we have to think about how is it going to impact our community seven generations from now. The second piece is a very simple question. I think that when we hear about school board decisions, we always get these robotic answers that come from, you know, different communication departments and whatnot, when really what we need to be focused on is a very simple question. Does this decision perpetuate or eliminate racial inequity? And I think that by desegregating a school, by putting in resources that are going to help our kids take advantage of an economy that has largely left them out over the past several decades, that we are taking a step forward in eliminating racial inequity. Going forward as a board director, I am going to be an individual who is committed to making sure that all kids have access to quality learning environments. I got appointed to the Seattle School Board to represent District 7 and all students throughout this entire city. We have to take bold action because the time is right now. Critics of this program would say, well, why don't we have a pilot? Why don't we try this out? And oftentimes when folks say wait, that means never. And our kids don't have time to wait. Our community does not have time to wait. We have to take bold action to not only desegregate our schools, but make sure that all of our students, especially our black boys and girls have access to higher learning opportunities, opportunities that are going to position them to be successful, opportunities that are going to put them into a place to where they are going to be able to prosper and afford to live in the city where they grew up. We are going to continue to do that as a board, and I'm excited about the direction that we're headed, and I'm excited about this partnership with TAF, and I know for a fact our community is excited about this opportunity for our kids to get what they really deserve, an educational environment that is not segregated and that will give them the tools to be successful throughout their lives. As always, I really appreciate hearing from the community. If you have any questions or concerns or wanna have a deeper conversation about what this may mean for your child, feel free to reach out to me at brandon.hersey at seattleschools.org.